Greetings and salutations, and welcome to another Evie's Word of the Week, where you, where I read off of a list of words with words of vocab, and you Hopefully you learn them and using your everyday life like a normal person ought to. And just to let you know, I will be putting a link to the playlist down below, probably over here, right where the you know, subscribe button should be. You should try that button, it's really cool. And as well as the playlist is too. You can catch up on all the other words that I have done. Now, you could argue whether some of these words are used correctly or not. I like to say that they are, but as far as I know, that they are. And the first word is purloin. Spell P U P R L O I. P U R L O I N. Perlon. Like the. Like in the story of the purloined a letter. And the definition of this particular word is to steal. And they also gave another definition for larceny, which. Okay, yeah, larceny also has to do with steel, by the way, for those who don't know. This particular, uh, this particular one is so important. My eleven inches. And if any of you say it's in my pants, I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> I'm to reach. Well, just wait for it. Just wait for it. There will be a 3D, and then, wham, you're going to get it. Anyways, let's get to another word that I found interesting as well. It's... Spelled S C A T O L O G I C A L Scatological Scatological now, I had to roll through a lot of definitions for this particular word. It basically means preoccupation with obscenity. So, I will with the <laughs> phrase that might pop into your head a little bit. And it's, most reality shows tend to be scatological. You know, with you know all the bad words and those profanities and obscenities of all kinds, and you know, yeah. yeah. This one is kind of fun. 
the word Amen. I chose it because it's one of my favorite authors, too. And it's spelled R A C O and T E U R Rank her. Rank Rank her. I believe it's French. But the way it's spelled and everything. You know, anything where you lay that has that I don't take any French, but it's just kind of a if you do, that's how it is. It's just like Latin words can can help taking Latin might actually help you, you know, do better in learning how to spell and stuff, so you won't be like me. <laughs> Anyways, not that I can't spell. <laughs> All right, it's one who excels at storytelling. Hey, and you should know this author by now, for he's been in your life and has always been in your life. He's the one who wrote the telltale story, and murder is in the reward. And the sentence goes, Edgar Allan Poe well, is considered one of America's best and most frightening rancors. Now, back to the rest of this lesson. And this word. Now, this one gets a little bit more personal, but I don't have any fear of it. It's an example. You don't have to go out and tell thousands of people about it. <laughs> and it's a W E L T E R. Welter. And it means to rise, to toss about, to be in turmoil. And then, after my father died, I would welter with all the wonderful memories he gave me. As I slip. Okay, here's a better example. I would welter in my bed. After my father died, I would welter in my bed with all of the fond memories I had of him. True story, by the way. Anyways, I hope you don't mind that I make this video, and, like I said, please, hit subscribe down below, and, please, comment down in the section, ask me, you know, ask me whatever questions you want, and tell me how I'm doing with these videos, because I love hearing your input, because I need to hear your input, because that's the whole point of YouTube, is to have a conversation, and, uh, well, yeah. Please follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and and Evie out.